Happy Halloween, everyone. No, Hayden, that's not right. Uh, okay, happy Halloween. But Halloween isn't for another 10 days. Shouldn't we do this like next week? Unfortunately, next Friday is an early release, so WHTV will be off the air. So, welcome to our special Halloween episode. We have some tricks and some treats for you today, wouldn't cut it. Kaya, you know how to trick or treat, right? Yeah, I've got this. In fact, if you're planning on heading out for trick or treating, Amanda and I did the top 10 do's and don'ts for Halloween. Hey guys, we're out here. Boo! Ah! <laughs> Don't. Don't? Don't. Don't do? Do and don't. Do's and don'ts? Do's, Do's and, and don'ts. don'ts! Halloween. It only comes once a year. We're here to tell you how to have a safe and fun night with the top 10 do's and don'ts. Don't use a pumpkin bucket for candy. Do use a pillowcase for candy. Do hand out good candy. Don't hand out fruit. Do turn your porch light on to indicate that you're open for candy business. Don't chase little kids when they enter your lawn. Do go to a popular neighborhood. Don't walk down an alley with no houses. Do check that your candy is safe to eat. Don't eat expired or strange food. Do go to recreationally haunted attractions. Don't go to a real graveyard. Do dress warm. Don't dress to impress. Do use fake vampire teeth. Don't actually sharpen your teeth. Do say hi to John Rooney. Hi, John Rooney. Don't ignore John Rooney. Well, now that we know the do's and don'ts for Halloween, I think we'll survive. Amanda? Boom! Ah! <laughs> Boom! Do scare people. <laughs> that was pretty good, Kaya. Thanks. I just really love Halloween. Yeah, it is the scariest holiday. Speaking of scary, the annual Haunted Hotel at the Lammies Inn in Hampton is Tuesday, October 25th and Wednesday, October 26th from 5 p.m. to 9. Tickets are $5 at the door. Go check it out if you dare. Have you ever tried a Ouija board? I bet they work best in October. No, Hayden. I don't like those kind of things, and they're definitely fake. Well, Lauren Alkire and Matt Ferentini wondered about the origin of the Ouija board and even decided to try, uh, try it out for themselves. Things definitely got a little strange. The Ouija board first started in the late 1840s in the United States as a movement led by the mediums. A Ouija board is a flat board with the letters of the alphabet written in two rows over a straight line of numbers, one through nine. The words yes and no are written on both top corners of the board and goodbye is written at the bottom. The board comes with a teardrop-shaped device called a planchette which is the device that the spirit uses to guide your hand and spell out its message. Are Ouija boards real? Can they actually summon a spirit? We sat down with some people who have experienced a Ouija board for themselves. We started with the first question and nothing happened, which I wasn't really expecting. I'm not a huge believer in that kind of stuff. I want to know if you're present in this room. Can you give us any signs? I swear to God, the couch pillow, pillow like, away from us, we were sitting on the floor, it indented and then there was this loud creak in the house, in the corner of like the room where we were in. So we all freaked out and she said, that's where your grandfather was laying, watching the football game when he died. We would ask like personal questions and it would know the answers to it and we'd like take our hands off thinking we were doing it subconsciously, but it would still get the answers right. And we figured out that his name was like Emilios or something. And at first I was like, this, is, this isn't real. But then 
afterwards, like a few days later, I asked my mom about it and she said that like that was the name of someone who moved in, who lived in my house. Like it was a little bit too much of a coincidence and I don't know if I was subconsciously doing it. After hearing these petrifying stories, Lauren and I had to put this to the test. We had to attempt contacting a spirit on our own terms. Last Sunday night, myself, Lauren, Josh Chase, Emmy Deswani, Nadia Hamdi, and Lauren Rusedge took a trip to the other side. Our discoveries were jaw-dropping. It was we set up the Ouija board downstairs and we kind of shut all the lights off, and then we started asking like if there are any like spirits in the room or, or whatever. We kept asking it questions um, like who, like what was its name, and like who was it like a male or a female? How old were they? How old are they? Like when were they born? At first, I didn't believe in the board because I thought someone in the group was moving it. Um, then they told me to ask a personal question, so I asked the board what my mom's middle name was, and like right away, it started to spell out my mom's middle name, which is Helen. The part I didn't believe is when we asked the spirit if anyone in the room was related to it, and then the dial spelled out my name. Everyone was getting annoyed with me and then the, apparently the spirit wasn't there anymore and it was, they were like, would you respond again if Lauren was gone? And then it said yes, so I got booted from the game. So the creepiest thing that happened was when Lauren asked how her dad contacted her and it was like, call. And she, at first Lauren was like, how does it call me? Like, stuff like that and then it cl all clicked and she was like, I have dreams about being on the phone with my dad. I'm kind of a believer, kind of not, like I'm kind of open to it, but at the same time, it's kind of such an extreme concept that's hard to comprehend. Whether you believe in Ouija boards or not, getting a group of friends together and using one is really fun and makes for a great Halloween activity. From WHGV, Matt Fiorentini and Lauren Alkire. That was pretty strange. I don't even want to think about those things. I like the fun Halloween October activities. Yeah, like what? Or carving pumpkins. I love carving pumpkins. Wait, why do we carve pumpkins? I'm not sure, but Max and Taylor wondered too and decided to find out. Whoa, hey Max, what are you doing here? I'm just picking some pumpkins to carve a jack-o'-lantern. I love jack-o'-lanterns. I wonder why they call it that. Yeah, me too. Let's go check it out. Legend has it that the jack-o'-lantern was named after an Irish myth called Stingy Jack. Jack was a sinful drunkard who, when faced with death, was clever enough to trap the devil so that he would allow him to live longer. However, when Jack finally died, God would not let him into heaven because of his mischief and sin, but the devil wouldn't let him into hell either. So instead, he was left to wander the earth with only a burning ember. He carried this as a makeshift lantern in a carved out turnip. Whoa, wait, a turnip? I thought it was a pumpkin. Well, look here. Because Halloween was originally an Irish holiday, pumpkins, which will not grow in the Irish climate and soil, were not a part of the celebration. Instead, people carved faces out of turnips, potatoes, and beets in order to scare Stingy Jack and other evil spirits away. It wasn't until Irish immigrants brought Halloween to the United States in the 1800s that pumpkins became the new canvas for scary lanterns. Today, pumpkins are an icon of the holiday and carving jack lanterns is a tradition across America. They also make for great treats such as pumpkin pie and baked pumpkin seeds. That sounds a lot better than turnip pie. Yes, it does. Have a happy Halloween, when it kind of. And don't forget to carve some pumpkins and watch out for Stingy Jack. I kind of see why the turnip thing didn't really catch on. Yeah, pumpkins are way better. Well, I can't wait for Halloween. Since we won't see you next week, we want to let you know that Winnicott will be putting on their fall play in just two weeks. Rumors by Neil Simon is a comic farce about a play that goes horribly awry. Performances will be on Friday, November 4th and Saturday, November 5th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 and will be for sale at the door. Hope to see you there. Well, when I come at that does it. Everyone have a great weekend and an even better Halloween.